Hello, my beautiful souls. Thank you guys so much for joining me on Aqua Starlight Oracle. You guys, I have some amazing Moonology Oracle messages for you guys today. Hopefully you can see these cards really clearly. I wanna make sure you can see the cards today, you guys, so you can see how they're lined up with the messages and what Spirit is telling you today for December 16th, 2021. We do have a full moon in Gemini coming up, you guys, and I see that energy here that came out last. So these are gonna be some really amazing Moonology Oracle messages for the collective whole. And this is a reading for today, you guys, okay? So we are approaching the full moon in Gemini coming up really soon. I think it's in like two or three days on the 18th and 19th of December. So this is gonna be the most, one of the most powerful full moons. It is the last full moon of the year. So it's going to be very special, you guys. This is a time of really clearing up karma, ending cycles in our lives that are no longer serving our highest good. That way we can have a brand new start in our lives, a new beginning. So for many of you guys, you may be looking for a new love, a new career, starting your own business. It's all about um, bringing in new opportunities and blessings with this uh, full moon in Gemini. And just to speak on Gemini really quick, you guys, Gemini is is the third sign in the zodiac and it represents the third house and mercury which is all about communication traveling marketing uh they're very social very adaptable creatures okay so if you have gemini in your chart you guys are very sociable like very social butterflies you love to go out and meet new people you like to market maybe you work in sales or you you're a writer or you're into journalism but they do represent the third house you guys and it's all about communication. So spirit is really telling us with this full moon in Gemini, now could be a time where communication is coming in from someone from your past who could be reconciling with you if you were in a past romantic relationship with this person. Or for some of you, it may even have to do with your family or siblings. So take it as it resonates with you guys, but it overall does represent traveling, communication, going back to school to further your education, really becoming a student in life again, learning new things, maybe starting a brand new career. It's gonna be a really exciting time, you guys, of starting new. It's all about new beginnings to bring in better things that are higher vibrational in your life, okay? So let's go ahead and jump right in, you guys. There's so much I can say on this full moon in Gemini, and I'll touch a little bit more on it, but we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first message, okay? so. Oh, really quick, I am using my Moonology deck. I'm gonna show you guys what the cards look like here, what the deck looks like. It's called Moonology by Yasmin Boland, and there's 44 oracle cards in here that go by the moon phases, and it has absolutely beautiful messages. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this Moonology deck. If not, definitely check it out, you guys. I did purchase this at Barnes & Noble, but you can get it on Amazon. So it's an amazing deck, it's very magical. Um, so let's go ahead and jump in, you guys. So for today, December 16th, for the collective, I asked my archangels and spirit guides what oracle messages that you guys need to focus on at this time. And we do have the disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out. Okay, you guys, so let's talk about this card a little bit. I'm going to read the message out of my book as well. Um, so this card, it's really representing taking some time out for yourself, okay? Really focusing on your inner healing, your transformation. We're all going through a healing cycle right now as we're releasing karma, we are releasing bad habits, maybe we're trying to make positive changes in our lives. A lot of us are releasing and letting go of people or situations that do not serve our highest good. So we're all in this energy in the collective right now. So Spirit is saying take some time out to meditate. Um, I am seeing a lot of like forest and trees here and it looks like it's almost the full moon. It's a disseminating moon, okay? So this is a time to really um, get out in nature, get grounded, uh, you know, take a walk at the park, maybe connect with nature, meditate or be near water. This will help relax and calm you. So we need to take time to really breathe out and relax at this time, you guys, because a lot of you guys could be working really hard or you're very busy with your, with your daily responsibilities and you could be doing a lot in your life so you need time to maybe just go within spirit and meditate and kind of relax, get some extra rest, you know, get out in nature, that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and read this message, you guys, really quick out of my book. 
and we're going to see what this disseminating moon is all about, okay? So yeah, I've been feeling this, you guys. I've been really busy with my psychic readings and trying to do some new things, but I've been definitely feeling like I need time to just kind of breathe and just relax and meditate and just kind of chill a little bit. Some days we need that time, okay? So make sure you're finding time for yourself right now. All right, so take time to breathe out is saying the intensity of the full moon has abated and what are we left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked and it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax. Breathe, we can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently next time. Be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. Okay, you guys, so when you attune, I'm going to put this up really quick. When you attune to, the, to this disseminating moon, um, when you're really in tune with this energy, Spirit is saying that what is happening right now is you've been going through some sort of change in forecast and you're really reevaluating things. You're needing time out for yourself to maybe be in solitude, to meditate, to get grounded, okay? Spirit's saying you should know where you stand either now or very soon. You need to take some time out for your own good. It's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else and avoid falling into a slump. Okay, so some of you guys may be, I was getting this in my other reading that I did for you guys the other day. Um, we're really needing to take time out to heal and go within our own spirit and spend time alone in solitude. So for some of you guys, that may be hard for you to spend time in solitude or be alone, but this is how you get to know who you are, okay? This is how you really merge with your higher self and you have an understanding of who it is you are, you know, your soul's purpose, where you're wanting to go next, okay? So we really need to contemplate at this time and like just spend time alone by ourselves, okay? Spirit is saying, I am where I am and it's okay, okay? So you are on the right path. Don't try to get somewhere too quickly or do something too fast, okay? Take your time. Spirit is saying it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else. So you may be very knowledgeable and you may... Um, be sharing your wisdom um, at this time with another person or advising them, okay? So this is not the time to start something new. The disseminating moon is the time to breathe out. Give yourself some time off and think about what has passed, okay? A lot of us are closing out cycles, you guys. So this is a time to meditate and really go within spirit and focus on your healing and transformation so you can completely release and let go of your past, okay? Now, this is beautiful. The next message coming after the disseminating moon is the full moon in Capricorn. The end of a tough cycle approaches, which is the ending of karmic cycles, you guys. So this makes total sense. I love that these two messages jumped out one after the next because we have one talking about healing, taking time out in solitude to spend time alone, get in nature, really focus on maybe what ne next steps you want to take. Um, where you're going in your life's journey, and you're ending and completing a karmic cycle. So let's go ahead and read the full moon in Capricorn, and we're going to see what this is about. Many of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn in your life, or you may be a Capricorn, or have Capricorn somewhere in your chart, okay? I know for me, my moon is in Capricorn, so I love when this card comes out. It, <laughs> it always reminds me of all the things that I am currently going through and working through, and it's all about an ending of a karmic cycle and starting brand new, okay? So let's see the full moon in Capricorn. Okay, so the full moon in Capricorn, this is what it's talking about, you guys. Spirit is saying, how hard are you willing to work for what you want? This card is reminding you that effort is required. Work issues may be about to come to a head when this card comes up. If you're wondering if you should stay in your job or leave, this card can be a strong sign to make an exit. The end of a rough time is forecast. This card is also asking you to consider how ambitious you are and whether you're prepared to pull out all the stops to make your professional dreams come true without being ruthless. With a love question, this card can be a call to face reality. Whatever situation you're asking about, making a plan will help. If your personal life is troubled, 
prioritize it more. Okay, you guys, so with this end of a tough cycle, you're ending a lot of karmic cycles in your life that were not serving you. So you're releasing and letting go of people, romantic relationships, family members, friends, maybe even job situations that you were in for a long time and you were not happy there. So you chose to walk away or end this karmic cycle. It needed to come to an end or completion. That way you can graduate, okay? Because you already learned what it is you needed to learn in that situation and now you're ready to complete that cycle and move forward so spirit is saying release control and trust the universe okay so i know this better than anyone you guys because my moon is in capricorn capricorns are extremely ruthless and controlling they can be very very dominating okay that's how i kind of can be on an emotional level but we have to really understand that at times we need to release control and we need to completely trust the universe and allow our angels and spirit guides to guide us in the right direction and to help us have faith okay at this time what direction we're going into next okay so this is really about releasing control like i said taking time to breathe out meditate go within spirit okay really discover yourself at this time you you don't need to rush into anything just really take some time out for yourself get to know who you are and you know you'll be guided to take what steps you need to take next in your life okay so this is also telling you um a professional project may be ending now admit if you've been overly hard-headed or hard-nosed and find a balance between your personal and private lives and it's stop to stop it's time to stop fearing the worst okay so Cap capricorn does rule the planet saturn which is all about karmic responsibilities duty it represents time okay saturn is the great teacher but also represents our karma and obstacles that we are overcoming in this lifetime you guys so you're putting an end to something in your life for sure and this is why you need time to heal and take some time out in solitude for yourself so you can really complete this chapter in your life and release and let go of any negativity or any negative people or situations or if something was just really out of balance in your life it's a time to let go of that okay so the next message we have is the super moon emotions are running high <laughs> okay you guys so we have some really really powerful messages coming out today for the collective okay and it does make sense because we are going to be having a full moon in gemini coming up so you guys could already be feeling this full moon coming up in the next two or three days we usually feel it a few days or a week ahead of time for many people that are sensitive to the moon energies so we're going to read um emotions are running high and we'll see what this message is saying for you guys, okay? So many of you guys, your emotions are running high. You could be crying and purging because you're releasing the past and letting go. You may feel a little bit of an emptiness or void inside because you don't know what is going to happen or where you're going next. But just know, you guys, this feeling is completely normal. Um, many people are feeling this at this time, okay? We do have a full moon coming up. So this card suggests that the answer to whatever you're asking is right large, like the silvery full moon set against the velvety night sky. If you're wondering how successful something is going to be, such as a job or a relationship, the answer is very. To use common parlance, the answer to your question may well be that it's under your nose. This card is all about being larger than life, being special and bursting with energy that you can tune into and work with you can expect plenty of good things and a positive outcome when this card comes to you but you may find there's a lot of emotions to deal with too there's also a sense that the opportunities around whatever you're asking about don't come along every day so take action okay you guys so what spirit is saying with emotions are running high is success is close okay so if you guys are working on a project you're working high and you're feeling exhausted or your emotions are running high just know that you need to trust in the universe everything is going to play out exactly the way it's supposed to and success is very close okay they're also saying a resolution to your question is closer than you may think don't ignore the obvious. Something exciting lies ahead. Make sure you don't blow events out of proportion and speak to the goddess. Ask her for assistance, which is the moon goddess. Okay, you guys. So the super moon is a new or full moon that takes place when the moon is at its closest point to the earth 
during its monthly orbit, okay? So this is representing the queen of emotions. And if you draw the super moon, it's saying um, you can expect your feelings to be more highly charged. Okay, you guys, and we are also going through a lot of ascension energies. A major energy sh energy shift has been taking place during this time. So a lot of us are needing to rest more, meditate, get extra sleep, eat healthy food, stay hydrated. We're really needing to go within our own spirit and connect with spirit at this time, okay, so that we can really see what it is that we're wanting out of life and what is going to make us happy. And a part of all this energy is also it is ascending us to a higher level. We're going to be Coming, we're becoming a better version of who we once were, okay? So a lot of us are leaving behind um, old habits, uh, negative people, negative situations that were in a lower vibrational frequency. And as we're raising our vibrational frequency and we're ascending, your emotions are naturally going to be running really high. There's a lot that we're releasing and purging out of our physical bodies, out of your emotional body. We're becoming more spiritually aware, more psychic, more in tune. So naturally, your emotions are going to be running very high. Okay, so just know you guys, everything is going to work out in its highest good. You just got to remain balanced be in the present moment stay grounded meditate focus on yourself at this time okay and everything is going to play out the way it's supposed to now after emotions are running high we have the balsamic moon a time for healing and i'm seeing a lot of blue and purple you guys and that always reminds me of the third eye chakra and the blue reminds me of the throat chakra so many of you guys are going to be in communication with someone from your past you may be healing a situation that you dealt with from your past as well but this is really a time for healing for yourself okay so we're gonna read a time for healing the balsamic moon and we're gonna see what this message is saying for you guys okay let's see balsamic moon Ooh, I think I was actually born during the balsamic moon you guys um the balsamic moon is the dark moon phase and it's really um I think it's also a time of healing and releasing and letting go so it's a very interesting energy. Okay, a time for healing. So Spirit is saying for you guys, pulling this card suggests that the past is in the past and a bright future is beckoning. However, before you take your next step, make sure that both you and the situation feel healed. This is not the time to paper over cracks or to simply pretend that everything is okay. So this is why for a lot of you guys in the collective, this is why your emotions are running really high because some of you guys are not talking to this person. You're not in communication and you maybe broke up or you maybe left a job behind and you're worried about your future or what is going to play out and you're healing all of this, you guys, but because you're not, you know, um, maybe in communication with someone, this is why your emotions are running so high, okay? And it's also about being unsure of the future and how things are going to play out between you and another person. So Spirit is saying... Um, this is not the time to pretend that everything is okay. Rather, you still need a little more time to heal and to soothe both yourself and anyone else in need. Then remind yourself that anything is possible if you believe it. This is also a time to surrender and wait to hear guidance from the universe. Powerful insights can be had. If you know that someone or something really isn't good for you, this card is a reminder to surrender. Start to work on your belief and your dreams so you're ready when the time comes. Yeah, you guys, some of you may be really focused on a past person or a relationship and it's really been holding you back and this is a time to really um, heal yourself, okay? Spirit is saying it's time to let go of the past. You are about to turn the corner. You need more time to heal and think about how the situation would would look if everyone were healed okay beautiful message you guys so what I am getting as far as channeled messages from the archangels and my spirit guides is many of you guys your emotions are running very high you could be crying a lot or just your emotions could be all over the place and you're feeling very scattered and this is a time for you to really be quiet listen to the inner guidance you're receiving from your own spirit and from your angels and spirit guides around you and really let go of the past and focus on your healing okay because we are about to have a new start you guys we are moving into uh 2022 literally within the next what two or three weeks so we're closing out cycles we're closing out 2021 and this is a time for healing and releasing and letting go of the past now um 
Spirit is also saying patience is required at the time of the balsamic moon. It's a time for self-care as you slowly but surely prepare yourself for the new moon, which is just around the corner. Okay, so this is a time to be easy on yourself. The time to step into your, into your creatrix power will come soon enough, but give yourself the time you need to heal. All right, so some of you guys with your emotions running high, you may be rushing something too. Some of you guys are either rushing something and you're trying to hurry up a situation or you're trying to do things, but you're feeling very scattered and all over the place. And it's because you are out of balance right now and you need time to heal and release the past and let go. For others of you, you're in some sort of energy of sadness or depression. You could be crying a lot or purging the past, and you're still needing to heal yourself before you take action, okay? The last two messages I have for you guys is a new start is coming, the new moon. How beautiful, you guys. This is all about new beginnings. And then we also have, of course, the full moon in Gemini, the answers you need are coming. All right, you guys. So these are going to be my last two messages for you. Um, a new start is coming. This is going to represent the new moon cycle. Okay, so this could be the new moon that's coming in January of 2022. Um, the January, especially you guys is going to be a time in Capricorn season where we're really focusing on making our dreams a reality, being more in our soul's purpose, communicating our needs and wants to other people, um, setting boundaries in our lives with family members, with friendships, with romantic relationships. We're really understanding now that we need to focus on what is going to make us happy in our lives and being in our soul's purpose. Okay. This is what's going to be the most important in 2022. Also for 2022, regarding love and relationships, it does represent the number six, which is the lover's card and the traditional tarot. So 2022, if you add up 2022, you have three twos, two plus two plus two, which equals six. And that's the lover's card in the tarot, you guys. So many of you guys in 2022 are going to come into a brand new relationship with someone. A lot of you guys are going to be, be meeting your divine counterpart, um, your twin flame or soulmate. So this is really, really beautiful, you guys. There's really exciting things that are coming into next year. So with the new moon, you guys, there's a new start in your life. This is for everything. For some of you guys, if you're focused on work and career, you're moving in a new direction with your career. Some of you guys are choosing to change your, jo change your job or change your career altogether. Many of you guys are going back to school to further your education. Now, Gemini does rule uh, education, traveling, siblings, family, communication. So for many of you guys, you may be getting into uh, sales or marketing or promoting yourself in the world. Um, you may be uh, traveling for your job or career. And for others, when it comes to love, you're meeting a new love that is going to be your divine counterpart or someone that is more aligned with your vibrational energy. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this last message, the full moon in Gemini, because this is the energy that is coming up on the 18th and 19th of this month. So this is going to be my last message for you guys. And I might upload another collective reading later, you guys. We'll see how I feel. But I just felt really guided to my Moonology Oracle card deck today for you guys, okay? So let's go ahead and read the full moon in Gemini. This is what's coming, you guys. The answers you need are coming. The, this card is a reminder that it's important to speak your truth, but remember that your words have consequences and impact your listener. Right now, you need to guard against indiscretion. The answers you need may well come soon. The issue you're facing could well be one or a few conversations away from being resolved. If you're inquiring about a love situation, a little flirting may be called for. If you're in the middle of an argument, this card comes to you as a reminder of the old, very non-Gemini message, least said, soonest mended. It's good to talk, but be careful you aren't causing yourself any issues with your words. Words have enormous power. Your word is your wand. You create magic and your own reality every time you express yourself. 
<laughs> All right, you guys. So this is a really powerful message coming up for this full moon in Gemini. So Spirit is saying, be careful with your words. Your words are your wand. Your words actually create magic, okay? Your words can devastate someone or they can totally uplift someone, okay? So you create magic in your own reality every time you express yourself. Now, Gemini is the sign also of communication and self-expression and creativity, okay? So Spirit is saying, if you're asking about a love situation, maybe you guys are not talking to this person right now or you're in separation, you are going to be speaking to this person very soon, maybe within the next week or two or in January. And Spirit is saying um, that you guys are going to have a very serious conversation. You may talk for a long time, okay? And you may even do some flirting with this person. You may realize you still have feelings for this person. But what, what really they're saying, you guys, is it's important to speak your truth and stand in your power. Don't allow anyone to uh, take your power, be in control of you, because um, a lot of people, you know, that we deal with are narcissists, and they could be projecting or love bombing, okay? So make sure that you guys are speaking your truth, okay? And also, it's saying right now you need to guard against indiscretions. The answers you need are well or may well come soon, okay? So whatever issue you guys have been going through that has to do with a romantic relationship or a person in your life and you're needing answers, just know that the answers are coming this month. It may be coming around the time of the full moon in Gemini or after the full moon in Gemini, which is uh, before or after December 19th, okay? So Spirit is saying you need to laugh off this situation and just move on for some of you guys. Um, for others, it's saying don't be superficial and job applications have good prospects, okay? So this is a time to, it says, um, oh goodness, it says talk, talk, and more talk as the emotional full moon moves into the communicative sign of Gemini. It's too easy to say too much, so mind how you go. Okay, you guys, just be careful with your words, I feel like Spirit is saying, because uh, you may want to say a lot to this person. Just use your words wisely, okay? Bring love into the situation. Use your words wisely. Don't say too much. Just speak your truth. And some of you guys may be moving on from this situation and releasing this person in your life. Um, that way you can have a new beginning in love or a new start to your life. And for others of you, you may be actually um, having a really deep and honest conversation with this person. And if, you know, if you're both speaking your highest truth and you still have feelings, you may be reconciling with someone in your life that you were not talking to from your past, okay? So those are the messages I have for you guys for today. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I will see you next time. Please take a moment, you guys, to like and subscribe to my channel, Aqua Starlight Oracle. It would be greatly appreciated. And send me a message or inbox me if you would like a personal reading. I do work as a psychic, you guys, so I'm very busy with my readings. But I always have open slots for you guys to do personal readings for this month. So please send me a message if you're interested in a reading. And I will get back to you as soon as possible. All right, you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye.